How can your photography stand out when everyone's does? I feel like we're at this point where everything is breathtaking and so nothing is. Spectacular has become expected. When people are scrolling through their feeds or when you're scrolling through your feed, you might see one of the most majestic pictures you've ever seen, but it barely has engagement. Why? Because people expect it now. The bar for what people react to has become so high that it's very difficult to produce an image that really stands out these days. And I think that's why a lot of people are switching over to AI generated images. I have thoughts, check those out. But without using AI, how can you make your photography really stand out amongst everything that's out there? It wasn't always like this. Back when DSLRs maxed out at eight megapixels and getting into a medium format camera cost $60,000 and up, getting those truly spectacular images was reserved for the people on the upper level who were able to invest tens of thousands of dollars to get those images. Plus, there wasn't the prominence of social media that there is now. But I think there are ways that your photography can stand out amongst all of this. And here are some that I've been thinking about. Feel free to add more in the comments. Let me know if I've forgotten something, if you have other ideas. First, work on creating your personal brand so that when somebody sees your photo, they know, oh, that's your photo. They, they just, they associate the images that you take with your name. And it takes some time and it's not gonna happen right away, but the more and more you present your style, the more and more you're gonna be recognized for the style of work that you create. Secondly, tell stories. Tell the story of how the photo was created. Don't just post the photo, but post it along with a story of what you went through to get that photo. Where did you have to go? What were the conditions like? How long did you have to wait for the light to be like this? Did you have equipment malfunctions you had to deal with? Just just tell the story, because the, the more that people can resonate emotionally with your photograph, the more they're gonna remember that photograph and engage with it. This one's kind of counterintuitive, but post less. Don't post every single photo you took and hope that some of them stick. Really post your very best work. And don't post all the time. Like maybe, maybe just post one image once a week or every other week or, or whatever it is. I think like watching some of the names I really, really respect out there, they're not putting posts with 30 pictures on it. They're posting one that they've really chosen as the one to represent their work. And I think that is a strategy that will pay off. Um, next, interact with people. When people leave a comment, they've taken the time to comment about something you did. So comment back, even if it's just with emojis. You know, there, it, it can get overwhelming when there's lots and lots of replies, but heart it, like it, respond with a thank you or with a heart or whatever. But but I think everybody who responds to our work deserves a personal response from us. And that goes a long way. And then next time that you post something, they know that they have this personal connection with you and they're more likely to engage. Next, if you have the opportunity to go get an epic picture, take that opportunity. Take adventure opportunities when you can. If you can get to an exotic or remote place, go there. Spend the money, take the time, do what you have to do if you can and go there because you will get epic photography and you'll have epic stories to go along with it. Next, show the behind the scenes of you working to create the image. Maybe set up a tripod if you don't have anybody with you and put your phone on it and, and just get images of you working. People really, really resonate with that. When they see the human behind the work, your work is gonna stand out more. And lastly, just be yourself, work from the heart, when you show the photography and the work that really represents who you are, people over time are going to resonate with that. And yes, there are a crap ton of people posting really fantastic images out there, but you're one of them. And the people who follow you, follow you because they really enjoy you as a person. They enjoy what you have to say, they enjoy your work, they enjoy your stories. So keep going, build your personal brand, tell the stories of your photographs, post less, interact with everybody who comments, take adventures when you can, and show yourself working. I think if we follow those general guidelines, we are going to stand out from the crowd and continue to build a photography business we can be proud of. If you haven't, please do subscribe to this channel. There's a lot more videos coming. There's a lot more adventures coming. I'd love to have you on board. I'm having a ton of fun doing this and sharing my experiences with you. I hope you'll share them back with me too. So thank you for spending some time with me. Please do subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.